plastics are everywhere, in our packaging, our homes, and even inside our bodies. Scientists have discovered traces of plastic in the gut, the arteries, and even the brain. How does this happen? What are the implications for our health? And more importantly, how can we reduce our exposure? In this video, we're diving into how microplastics get inside us, why they're dangerous, and simple steps you can take to protect yourself and your family. What are microplastics and nanoplastics? When plastic breaks down, it creates tiny particles called microplastics, and even smaller ones called nanoplastics. Microplastics are invisible to the naked eye, but can be as big as a grain of sand, while nanoplastics require special equipment to detect. These particles are incredibly pervasive and are found everywhere, from oceans to the air we breathe. Once these particles enter our bodies, they can end up in organs like the kidneys, heart, and even the brain. These microplastics are in the food and drinks we consume, the air we breathe, and even in the clothes we wear. They make their way into our bodies through food containers, packaging, and even the water we drink. Why scientists are concerned? Recent studies show that microplastics concentrate more in the brain than in other organs. Alarmingly, people with dementia have shown 10 times more plastic in their brains. This raises concerns about the long-term neurological effects of microplastics. The accumulation of plastics in arteries can increase the risk of heart disease and other cardiovascular problems. Studies suggest that microplastics in the bloodstream may lead to arterial blockages and inflammation, potentially resulting in heart attacks or strokes. These tiny particles don't just accumulate in the brain or blood, they can also disrupt the gut microbiome, affecting digestion and nutrient absorption. Some research suggests they may even contribute to gut-related issues like inflammation or gastrointestinal problems. Effects on hormones and health Microplastics don't just affect your brain and heart, they can interfere with your hormones too. Early research links microplastics to endocrine disruption, particularly in the way hormones like estrogen and thyroid hormones function. These hormones regulate critical processes in your body, from metabolism to reproductive health. Disruptions in these hormones have been linked to various health issues, including infertility, early puberty and thyroid dysfunction. There's even concern that long-term exposure could potentially increase the risk of developing certain cancers, though more studies are needed to fully understand the implications. Practical tips to reduce exposure. So, how can you protect yourself and reduce exposure to microplastics? Here are simple steps to follow. Use reusable glass or metal bottles instead of plastic ones. Switching from plastic bottles to glass or stainless steel will prevent harmful microplastics from leaching into your water. Avoid leaving plastic bottles exposed to heat or sunlight. When plastic is exposed to heat, it breaks down and releases microplastics. Avoid leaving plastic bottles in hot cars or sunlight. Store food in glass or stainless steel containers, not plastic. Food stored in plastic containers can absorb microplastics, especially when heated. Use glass or stainless steel instead. Avoid heating food in plastic containers or the microwave. When plastic is heated, it leaches harmful chemicals and microplastics into your food. Always choose safer materials. Check your kitchen items. Non-stick pans, expired cosmetics, and plastic packaging can all release microplastics over time. Non-stick pans can release microplastics when scratched, and expired cosmetics may contain harmful microplastic particles. Always check the labels and replace old items. Why it matters. While we can't avoid plastic completely, Making smarter choices every day adds up. By reducing your exposure to microplastics, you're not just protecting your body from tiny particles you can't see, you're protecting your brain, heart and gut. Experts recommend minimizing plastic exposure whenever possible, because your long-term health depends on it. Think of it as an investment in your future well-being. Pro tip. Whenever possible, replace plastic with glass or stainless steel at home. Small steps matter. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone you care about, and subscribe for more health insights you won't hear anywhere else.